So I thought I would share how I decided to handle compositing in my new installation of Arch Linux and DWM. By compositing, I really just mean transparency within the SD terminal because it's just my personal choice, but I don't really do a lot in compositing and effects and things like that, but there's a lot more that can be done besides just this. So originally, my first video on this channel was how to set the transparency within the ST terminal without patching. And just to summarize that, the original method was a very minimalist approach. And this is also minimalist, but I would say the original one is more simplistic than this. So it's more in line with the DWM philosophy than this current method. But it's personal choice. Both of them are still valid. And it's up to you as a user, right? It's up to you how you want to keep your desktop. But anyway, the original method used XCOMP MGR, and this one uses PyCOMP. So we first need to install PyCom. Okay. Now I'm not going to do this because I already got it installed. Once you have this installed, one important thing to note is that this default configuration will be created. Now in the Arch Wiki, it recommends to copy this configuration into your local directory and then later when you run PyCom you point to it in your home directory right um, so that's how I did it and that's how we're gonna continue here one neat thing about this file is that it shows you a description for these commands so that you kind of understand what you're doing so yeah if you don't you could probably figure out some of this with just trial and error right but anyway so once we've copied that file, you really don't need actually to copy most of it. And in the description, I'll put my configuration file here. But anyway, yeah, so let's go with the assumption that we've copied that to our local directory here. Then we can open it. And this is my configuration. And it's so simple, so straightforward. The back end I set to GLX because I was having some problems with the screen. I think it was XRender, the original one. Yeah, not too sure, but GLX works for me. So uh, for you, you probably might not even need this. But uh, yeah, GLX is what I use. VSync for uh, some tearing. And then the most important part for this video here, the opacity rule. And we have these two important lines here. And we see that they look very similar. But this one is 90 and this one is 95. And one other difference is that this one says focused and this one is not focused. So the closer that we are to 100, the less transparent the window is. The, the closer we are to zero, the more transparent the window will be. And focused is the window that we're currently in and not focused are any other windows that are outside of focus. So let's just demonstrate that really quickly. So if I hover the mouse, we can see that this window is focused now. So it is more transparent, right? Because it's at 90 and it's getting closer to zero, right? And the inactive window is less transparent because it's getting closer to 100. So one neat thing about PyCom is that in this configuration, it can update dynamically too because it's running in the background, right? So we don't need to restart our session or anything like that. We can just set some value and it'll reload itself. So for example, we want more transparency. Let's do that. All right, save the file. And we see that it did it instantly. We want to return that, just set it back. And we see that it's back again. So yeah, that's pretty much it that you, that you need to set here. There's not much more unless you want to configure some other things, but let's just exit out of here. The last thing that we need to do is actually call PyCom, right? When we start our session. So this really depends on how you've installed and configured everything in DWM. Many people without a window manager, right? They would just use this to X init RC or some other script, right? Where they call DWM and maybe some other stuff too. And this is just an example of where you can place your call to PyCom, right? So for me, I don't use this file anymore. This is long ago in the past. 
but um, yeah, it was just a starting point for me, and this is where I started compositing here. So of course we say PyCom, all right? Then we tell it where to search for our configuration, which we made in our home.config pycom pycom.conf. And then this B here is a flag to tell PyCom to run in the background. Now I'm not too sure why the devs decided to create this special command because as far as I'm aware, this and symbol here kind of means the same thing. But there's probably some technical issue or technical rationale for that for this being here rather than this but uh, yeah so all you have to do is copy and paste this line into wherever you start DWM like I have and um, I have another script actually that runs in my bin folder so that's where I put this command actually but you could also put it here this is just showing a method to doing this so yeah, that's about it for this one. If you, again, found this content useful, you like the fat fluffy red hamster or the hot rin wallpaper, please give a like and a sub.